And this is our final time check. The network will go silent for the final one minute. Husker Sports Network programming begins in one minute. This is the Nebraska Men's Basketball Show with assistant coach Armand Gates. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Gets it in on the right lane line, back to the goal to Walker, faces up. He drives it inside, and the hook shot with the left hand over the right shoulder is good. Back-to-back -back goals by Walker. Gets it back to Tominaga. Little jab step. He drives the ball to the racks, puts it up and in. He was falling down, threw it in off the window. Holy cow. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie. Welcome, everybody, into our Nebraska men's basketball show, our weekly show. I'm Jessica Cootie. And joining me tonight, assistant coach Armand Gates will be with you for the first hour here tonight, here on Sports Lightly from 6 to 7. Then coming up in the 7 o'clock hour, Ron Brown and defensive coordinator Eric Chenander will be in to sit down with Greg Sharp. Get those calls and text in right now for Coach Gates. He is never short on energy. I know he's going to bring it again tonight. 402-413-2400, the Sports Nightly Hotline, brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. Well, Coach, uh, congrats on the win last night, three in a row, and uh, again, finding a way to win last night. Absolutely. We appreciate that, uh, first first and foremost. Uh, you know, just happy happy that our guys were able to pull out that win last night, uh, you know, without shooting the ball well. And, you know, against a tough mid-major program that has a lot of high-major transfers that a lot of people don't know about. But that was a really well-coached team that we played against last night. 79-73, uh, the win over Tennessee State. And they shot the lights out of the gym, especially there in that first half. But, uh, you know, we really saw Alonzo Verge kind of take over this game and did a lot of good things. And I know he's kind of been struggling to get going, kind of moving into that point guard role. But how good was that to see him have the performance he had last night, a double-double, his second of his career as a Husker? Yeah, it was, it was awesome because he he's a kid that really cares uh, coming from the Chicagoland area. Uh, so seeing Burge come out of that little slump of his, you know, was was amazing. And his teammates was always they're always pulling for him. And all he did was put his head down and, and continue to work. He didn't soak. He just worked to get out of it. And I was proud to see him get out of that last night. 18 points, 10 assists, five rebounds. But then he also made some key defensive plays, and he was fired up. I mean, how important was that energy that he brought? And, and that's the thing. Sometimes when you you gotta you gotta get out of your own, stop thinking about yourself to to get out of slumps. And that's what he did. He just he just had put team first. You know that team first mentality. It goes a long way. Uh, defensively, again, he took his he took the, his mind off of offense and, and focused on the defensive end. Uh, what we're trying to do with him a little bit though is is stop the gambling a little bit in the passing lanes and just stay more solid because he he has to understand this. It's better to be solid uh, when we play against those type of teams uh, to get us going offensively. And Derek Walker, career high 16 points. What's what's gotten into him these last three games? You know, he didn't score against Creighton and then we've really seen him get going and especially inside and 
a lot of guys finding him and and boy and he's passing the ball well too you know what in, in this offense he's huge you know uh we we have you know four guards pretty much out there with a big and uh the defense you can tell their game plan is to really focus on those guards keeping all keeping our guards like alonzo verge and, and and bryce mcgowan's and those guys out of the paint so that 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 leaves derrick open pretty much so derrick's doing his job he's becoming available he's showing he's showing where he needs to be at and he's receiving a pass and he's finishing for us very well so, you know, we, we know that you have shooters on this roster. I mean, Casey, Tominaga, CJ Wiltshire, a lot of guys that shoot very high, close to 40% um, three-point. But as a team, you guys have kind of struggled to get going. And, and even Lat has uh, struggled a little bit from the outside. Why is that? I mean, I know if you knew, you'd probably have it fixed right now. Yeah. But, I mean, how do you – maybe get that going i'm sure once they start going it's going to be like a waterfall but but how do you kind of get the lid off the basket from from the outside yeah you know it's, it's a number of things uh sometimes overwork overwork i hurt you a little bit and our guys they again they care so much that they they want to be perfect they want to be perfect perfectionist and and be perfect but when you play the game of basketball listen it's about rhythm you know you got to do things the right way i believe in basketball god so if you if you're doing something wrong on a defensive end I, I do think you know on the offensive end you you won't have your own way um but our guys they care so much they're always in the gym and i tell them sometimes you got to give your legs a break but we are such a we are a way better shooting team than we're displaying and once the leg comes off the basket and hopefully you know what now is the time that we that I would want to miss those shots and not in conference play because conference play, as we know, Big Ten is is going to be brutal. But um, I think our guys will come into their own. You left Kent State second in school history in career made three pointers. Did you ever have these kinds of slumps? You had to go back in the history books to get that to get that uh, <laughs> to, to get that stat. But but you know you what? Never ask, had this kind hey, of slump. hey, no, you know what? <laughs> I, honestly. And that's what I preach to the guys. Shooters just shoot the ball. You know, you can't, you can't, you have to forget about your last shot, make or miss. Uh, but once, once you get that rhythm and it feels good, I mean, you can, it's like riding a bike, you know, and sometimes their rhythm's thrown off a little bit by receiving a pass too late, re receiving a pass out of the shooting pocket. Um, so I just tell these guys, man, just, just understand it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So forget the last shot, make your next one. How big is that, too, to have a, a coach like Fred Hoiberg who kind of gives his shooters the green light, too, that, you know, maybe when they're not going down, you don't necessarily have to worry about a coach saying, hey, don't take that shot? No doubt. These, these guys have unbelievable freedom. He, coach Hoiberg is an unbelievable coach, and I've learned so much from coach in terms of being poised and, and not being uh, so, so, so just demanding on your guys if they do miss a shot. Like, you know, because there's some shots I cringe and say, bad shot, bad shot. But I look over at Fred, and he's still cool, calm, and collected, and it keeps our guys that way. Um, but playing for Fred, these guys, I tell these guys every single day, hey, man, Take advantage now. This guy is is is, is one of a kind because not, not many coaches will let you shoot those shots. So, don't I tell them don't take don't take advantage, but take advantage. You know, it, and it's a it's a fine line with that. Um, as long as you're playing defense and rebounding and doing all those little things, Fred Fred doesn't really say much about those shots. But to play for a coach like Fred in terms of being an NBA shooter, I mean, a shooter can't dream for more. Yeah, I was going to say, you were a shooter. You would have had to love to play for a guy like that. Oh, my gosh. If I had a, I had that opportunity, I would love it. I and, and Could have, would have, should have, all that you stuff. You would have hit 500 threes. <laughs> hey, no doubt. That's what I, at least I would tell myself that. I'm telling you that much right now. So, What about the ball movement? I mean, 18 assists in each of these last three games. It seems to be moving a lot better. Yeah. We talk simple play every day in practice, and, and we know we have such a really good shooting team. Of course, our numbers don't show it now, but I promise the lid will come off that basket. But we preach the simple play. Just make the simple play because we have so many shot makers around us and on the court at the same time that, you know what, make the extra pass because it will come back to you. You know, and, and, and it's contagious. It's contagious when you play that way. When you play unselfishly, you know, that, that the basketball will pop. And, guys, again, so many shooters around that perimeter that at the end of the day, you have no choice but to have those those many assists. 
Well, we haven't had a uh, coaches show since uh, the Creighton game. We had a, a Matt Eldamasi on the night before the Creighton game, and a uh, really heartbreaker with Trey McGowan's going down. He had the, the broken foot. He had surgery the very next day. He's already over there in his scooter. I saw him shooting, you know, <laughs> every game that I've been at. He's, he's down there shooting, putting up shots, but he's, you know, vocal in the huddles. I guess, first of all, how uh, devastating was that to lose a guy like Trey and the role that he's kind of been playing for you guys, but then how good has it been to see him kind of still be involved? Be involved? You know what? It definitely hurt our team. Uh, defensively, Trey's our best on-ball defender. Uh, he's our toughest guy. And, and Trey, come, he brings that football mentality on, on to the court for us. And so losing that uh, speed, athleticism, toughness, it hurts. But our, our, our deal is the next man up. That's why we have, a, a you know, with this super senior deal, that COVID year, we have a, a deep roster. So next man up and, and the guy that's been stepping up, uh, I think you and I talked about it a little bit earlier. Uh, one of the guys, Kobe Webster, k has to step up. Um, and just whoever's number's called, they, they must step up. But Trey's been do doing a tremendous job. We all preach to him, hey, man, you are, you are our fourth assist assistant coach. Um, you, if you want to say fifth, but, you know, with, with also with Doc Sadler that, you know, but I always tell him, I say, you are fourth assistant coach, man. Let's see what you got. And, and he's been stepping up on that bench for us. And Keon Edwards is, has moved into his starting spot. What, is, what does he kind of bring in that role as, as you uh, are looking for guys to rebound and, and be that defensive catalyst? A great, great, great question. And, and again, losing Trey defensively and, and, and just athleticism-wise, we thought as a staff that – uh, Keon brought that for us because in practice Keon's a rebounding machine. He actually has been shooting the ball well in practice and defensively he's one of our better on-ball defenders uh, on our in our program. So he brings that same toughness and football mentality that I was telling, saying that Trey brings to us. For um, people that might have doubted if Casey could play defense at this level, mm -hmm. I think we've seen he, he can kind of make some, uh, some people's night uh, – there, it's make it a nightmare on some people on the defensive end as well. Oh, 100 percent. Casey plays extremely hard on both ends, and and again, he's one of those guys that if the shots aren't going down, he can bring something to the table on the other end for us. And he has been and been been uh, you know creating a little havoc for uh, opposing players and not just role players. He's been defending some of the team's best players, better players, and uh, I've been I've been very surprised with his defensive mentality, but. Many people don't know that he did play junior college ball at uh, Ranger Community College his freshman year under Billy Clyde Gillespie, who's mm -hmm. a defensive-minded guy. So uh, Doc Sadler, that's one of Doc Sadler's closest friends, and Doc said that KC would come in without us seeing him. He said he will come in being well coached. And then just he, he also has made found some ways to make some shots when the three wasn't falling. We, we've seen him hit some circus shots down there, too. There's no doubt about it. Case, <laughs> case say a, a, in practice, I mean, in practice, at the end of practice, sometimes our guys, they'll they'll mess around and do a couple, um, you know, when Bryce doing dunks and things like that. And this was in the preseason case. They'll shoot a couple half quarters and things like that. You know, so he's got some trickery up his sleeve. He's just not a he's not a one trick pony by any means. But everyone thinks he is just because. That's what he does, but he can put it on the ground, shot fake one, two dribble, pull up. He can pass the ball again. He can uh, be a creative finisher around the basket. So k is not just a one-trick pony. What has he thought of playing basketball here in, in Lincoln? You know what? k say is an unbelievable teammate. I mean, so he loves it. He's one of our most vocal guys on the practice floor, and I think that's because Maybe in his mind, I think he wants his teammates to get used to hearing his, hearing that 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 accent and and being used to you know how he how he works. You know what I mean? Because he understands what we're saying, but he wants to make sure that the guys understand understand what he's you know kind of kind of saying a little bit with the accent. Uh, but Casey Casey has been an unbelievable teammate, and he loves being here in Nebraska, and he's one of our hardest workers on and off the court. You could tell he hit the uh, three that he ended up getting fouled on. And it and I think he had only hit maybe one or two threes before that. Uh, this was in the game against, I can't even remember which game it was, but the way his teammates went absolutely nuts. I mean, you can tell that he is very well loved on this team. 100%. And I think he's one of the crowd, you know, one of the fan favorites. Because uh, yeah. whenever he's in a game, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the loudest I hear PBA. Um, <laughs> I think he may lead the country. This is, this is not a uh, fact or anything, but just me watching ball as much <laughs> as I watch. 
I think he may lead the country in and one threes made, you know, so he's he's definitely a, a threat out there and, and he's on people's scouting reports to run him off the line. But with his quick release and just his ability, uh, I forget who nicknamed him. Maybe it was Coach Abdel Massey and Luca. They they um, nicknamed him the, the, the Japanese Steph Curry. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people, they can see that, too. I wonder, I mean, because anytime he lets it fly, the crowd is like, thinks it's going down. Absolutely. And so I, I wonder what he thinks about all that, to have the, this kind of crowd already, the expectation that every time it leaves his hands that it, it's going in, but then just when he does hit a shot, it, it does. It, it goes nuts, and and it's like the roof is coming off the building. There's no doubt about it. He's one of the fan favorites uh, right there with Will, Wilhelm, uh, Bredenbach. I definitely think those two are the fan favorites because they play so hard, you know, and they'll do anything for the team to help us win a ball game. But, again, one of K-State, K-State's specialties is shooting at three. Every time he shoots it, even the staff, the team, I mean, and like you said, the fans, we all think it's going in just because that's what he does. Speaking of Wilhelm, would you? Uh, what do you think of his look with the goggles and the beard? You know what? I love his look because looks are deceiving. You know, I, I definitely. <laughs> if I was an opponent and then I looked at at Wilhelm, I would think, man, I'm about to, I'm about to just go at this guy. I'm gonna take his heart. <laughs> but he's so tough, and he his his mindset is, you know, uh, is, is just to run through a brick wall for his team, and that's what I love about him. He's a total. He's a 100% a, a, a team first guy. Um, he'll do anything it takes to win, and he gets upset, more upset at himself than the coaching staff does. So it goes against how Fred wants his team to be in terms of, hey, just be even keel. This, this kid brings so much energy because he doesn't want to let anyone down. He, um, he's got a lot of fouls called on him yes. uh, so far this season, and some of them maybe could question a little bit, but – how does he rein that in? Because he does play so well defensively, but how do you rein in and, and not get in foul trouble? Yeah, you know what? Uh, if you look at it, Will, Willie is a um, – he can play both post positions, but he I think he's more of a four-man. But right now we have him playing a five. You know, and we can get away with that non-conference-wise, have him playing a five against a couple mid-major programs. But going into the Big Ten, like yesterday, we, we did put him in with Derek a couple times and also with uh, Big Ed Wardle. So I think that has something to do with it, playing against some, some, you know, bigger, tougher guys that's down there. And, again, this is his freshman year, so they, they, they're out vetting him a little bit. But once he gets a, a, couple, a couple games under his belt, a couple more games under his belt, I think he'll, be, he'll understand how the referee is going to call it. Uh, I remember one time we subbed him out for a foul, and, and he came, he said, and the guy na- fell on the ground, and he said, that's not a foul. He needs to get in the weight room, you know. So, and I love that reaction. I loved it. I loved it because, again, he wants to do anything he can do to help us win, and he wants to satisfy everyone on our sideline. And again, I'll go to war with him any day. Love that. Love that. All right, we got to step aside for our first break, but much more coming up here with Armand Gates on our Nebraska men's ba- basketball show. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Back with more right after this. Experience the difference and shop Woodhouse Nissan first. We have the car, truck, or SUV that meets all of your needs. Shop the all-new 2022 Nissan Frontier. This midsize pickup has the tech and the rugged durability to take your adventures to new heights. Or discover the 2022 Nissan Armada. Whether it's a family day out or moving large items, the Armada has space to bring what you need. Call or visit us online today to schedule a test drive with Woodhouse Nissan. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Don't let the cold winter worry you. As Nebraska's leading supplier of propane, you can count on Sap Brothers to keep your family warm this winter. You're like family, and your safety is the number one priority of Sap Brothers. When it comes to your propane needs, Sap Brothers has you covered. Visit www.sapbros.net slash petroleum to find your local Sap Brothers propane expert. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests, Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, 
Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The Rural Fellows Program doubled their average number of participating students this year, putting UNL student interns to work in 17 Nebraska communities for the summer. Interns use their skills to get real-world experience on a variety of projects, from mapping out trail systems to creating promotional videos to researching and documenting local history. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You train for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance, all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Hey, Nebraska fans, Jimmy Johns in Omaha is currently looking for people to join their team with sandwich maker positions starting at $12 to $15 an hour, management positions with competitive pay and benefits, and delivery drivers earning up to $30 an hour with mileage and tips. Visit DKPMCorp.com and apply now. That's DKPMCorp.com. Come join the Jimmy John's team today. You can also visit any of the local independently owned and operated Jimmy John's franchises to learn more. Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups. Firewall, tough defense. And network, way to carry the whole team. Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy's Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy's Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. It's Game On at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont, featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. We are professional grade. Hey Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres solutions for every field. We continue our uh, Nebraska men's basketball show with Armand Gates, and we uh, talked a lot about the win over Tennessee State, but 
Let's go back to Sunday and Southern and Bryce McGowan's a freshman with his first double-double as a Husker. Uh, what did he end up having? Um, what, 11 rebounds, 18 points. He had 18 points against Tennessee State, too. Um, you know, how, how big was that to see him kind of get that double-double and, and to get back going scoring? Because he had had the, the couple of games where he had six points after really breaking out in the first two games. So to get back uh, going at the at the rim as well you know what it, it was great to see Bryce you know because again Bryce is one of the guys that cares and 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 we showcase him we want him to be one of those guys that that put up big numbers for us um, and we believe he can he can do that on a nightly basis um, Bryce sometimes put a little bit too much pressure on himself and you know we just got to remind him that a hey, it's, a, it's a, again it is a marathon not a sprint you know one one shot it's not going to make or break you. You know, it's a long course. It's a long course of a game. Just play through all those mistakes and, you know, don't get upset when you don't get the ball But because coach will call something for you, you know? Yeah, 18 rebound or 18 points, um, 11 rebounds. He had four assists, 10 for 10 from the free throw line and 0 for 4 from three point. And, you know, I talked to him after the game, and that was one of the things that he mentioned when – you know, your things aren't falling, finding other ways to contribute. And for him, that was getting to the free throw line. I mean, that's um, wise words for a young freshman. There's no doubt about it. He's, he's playing for a former NBA player. So coach is preaching all that stuff to him. You know, you just don't have to. He's a different player than Coach Hoiberg was. Coach knows the versatility that Bryce can bring to our program and what he can do because he's a three-level scorer. So just don't settle for the three. If the three isn't going for you, then obviously get to the free throw line, get to the basket, get to, you know, get fouled, you know, draw, draw and kick for someone else and go crash the offensive glass. Um, but Bryce, Bryce has been tremendous. His work ethic has been tremendous. And, and again, he cares. And again, he's our feature. He's one of our feature guys, and we want him to continue to do well. He's such a nice human being. I said that. I've said that I think every time that I've been on this coach's show with whoever is on. It just, you know, a lot of times those superstars are, are not good people or not as nice and friendly. And, and he is just a kind human being as well. Absolutely. And the, the moment I met him, well, before that, but the moment I met his family, his, his mom and dad, you can tell that, you know, they were raised the right way. You know, uh, respectful, yes sir, no sir, type of type of uh, family, and really quick with Bryce, he has the target on his back. You know, being a you know, right there, the friends McDonald's guy, being on draft boards, people read that. Other players they play against read that. So he's gonna see the best defender every night on the opposing team. So what he's done so thus far is amazing for a freshman. When the the two nights where he had just six points, uh, was that what, what was the issue with that? And I know a lot of people put so much pressure on him scoring, and he finds other ways to contribute because he was passing the ball and and rebounding. But you know, for someone that is going to put up a lot of points, and those after the the back to back games where he you know led the the Big Ten in scoring to open up the season, what were the issues with him not being able to score as much? Uh, just just no, nothing at all. You know, it was just him being a human being, mm -hmm. you know, um, no one's perfect. You yeah. know, you, you see some guys are going to go a game or two and not get double digits. You see it in the NBA, you know. So at the end of the day, that's what we have to do as a staff and as a team, keep our guys on track because you're going to have those ups and downs. And that's what this thing's about, teaching these young men how to go through adversity, you know, because if you go through this adversity now, just wait until you're until you're done with basketball and what the adversities you're gonna face in, in, in the real world. And that's what we try to preach to these guys: overcome that adversity, um, and you'll be fine. How do you handle all of that pressure as a you know 18 year old kid and and all of the things that are being said about him, as you mentioned on the draft boards, and you know he's a Big Ten Freshman of the Week. I mean, how how does he go about? handling all of that oh yeah you got to have a good support system you mm -hmm. know and his support system is he's got a big support system with his family uh obviously having his big brother here with him helps big time his teammates and obviously his coaching staff uh that he can come talk to any given any given time you know and and we all bring something different to the table you know i may be more upfront with them and more blunt you know uh coach Saller may be you know, the same way as, as I am. And then Coach, Coach Hoiberg, who's more even keel, 
he may hit Bryce with a different perspective. And then, you know, obviously he has his teammates, mom and dad, you know, so he has an unbelievable support staff. And that's what it's about, you know, to be honest with you, to get through good days, bad days, and anything else that you, that, that you face. So I asked you earlier about filling Trey's role, but uh, he had the surgery. How's he doing? And I believe he started his rehab this week as well. Trey's an unbelievable spirit, great spirits. I mean, like you said, he's our loudest on the on the bench right now. <laughs> um, you know, cheering for not only one one player his, in terms of his brother, he's cheering for everyone. You know, he knows what he how important he is to our program, to our team. Um, so. Everything's going well with him. He has started to rehab, and yes, you're right. He he has started shooting already. He's just sitting down working on form shooting. That's one thing Trey and Trey knows it. He knows what his weakness is. Again, his football mentality is so hard and hard nosed and hard pressed that once he figures out that perimeter jump shot, he's going to be a hard guard. He's going to be hard to freaking guard. So <laughs> Trey is um, Trey is one of those guys that again is contagious. It's contagious with him. So uh, with. Trey being out and then on on the game on Sunday against Southern, we saw a really uh, a connection between Derek Walker and Bryce. And Bryce said Derek's been another big brother to him, has really taken him under his wing. And and I that I think that shows out on the court. Uh, they find each other a lot. And, you know, Derek finds Bryce, Bryce vice versa. Um, but w how did you see Derek kind of welcome in Bryce as well? Oh, Derek's, Derek's probably our our number one uh, player on our team that welcomes any and everyone. You know, so if he sees someone having a bad day, he's going to go out of his way to lift their spirits. Um, so Derek's been through this. Uh, again, he's a transfer from Tennessee, where they were number one team in the country. So he saw how important uh, selflessness is. You know, he knows that he has to sacrifice something for the team to be better. So Derek, Derek will do anything to help to help this team win, and he knows that being the most vocal and showing these guys the right way is huge, you know, and not coming from a coach, but from a player's perspective, hearing, hearing another player say something, uh, you may take it, you may take it a different way than hearing a coach say it. How about his vision as a, as a post guy down there? He's got great vision. Absolutely. And, and you, you know, one thing uh, that our guys do, if they make a great pass, they put up these goggles, <laughs> they call these the goggles here. And so Derek will do that sometime in practice. He'll, he'll tell the guys that he's the best pass, passer on the team. And of course it, it starts a lot of controversy. So, uh, <laughs> but Derek has a great feel. That's the, that's the one of the better, best things that, that he bring that he has to his games, one of his best attributes. And that's what drew coach Hoyer to him uh, is having a, a, a post player that can step out and really have a good IQ, good feel to, to make the correct passes. Because in our offense, we have a back cut. We, someone back cut, someone fl uh, uh, may uh, flash out to the three or flare out to the three. So he's very, very important to uh, Coach Wilbur's system. Who is the best passer on the team? Ooh, you know what? Numbers wise, <laughs> if you if you if you look at it, uh, to be honest with you, uh, is I will have to say Alonzo because the ball's in his hands the most. But big man wise, of course, like I said before, Eduardo and Derek, they 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 always talk about who's a better passer. So I'm I am going to have to give it to Derek though. And Wilhelm's a great passer too. And again, that's that those guys fit in Coach Wilbur's system. Absolutely. Okay, how about Kobe Webster and coming off the bench against Creighton, 20 points. He had another big game um, against Idaho State as well. I mean, how big was that spark that he provided? So, so Kobe, and, and I'm looking at a couple stats here. Kobe is, um, he's, he's that guy that when he transferred in from Western Illinois, he was used to being the man. All, the ball's always in his hands and taking tough shots and not just taking them, but making tough shots. Here, he had to adjust a little bit, playing with other, other Big Ten caliber players. Uh, Kobe had to adjust, so he's not getting all the shots that he wants. But he definitely brings a spark to the team coming off the bench. He can definitely shoot the ball. He can handle the ball. He can finish at the basket. And when he, when he really, really wants to uh, lighten to you defensively, he really can. Uh, but he's he's again he's that guard that can fill it up. Uh, again, he helped us. He sp gave us that spark versus Creighton and and did an unbelievable job when his number was called. Again, next man up mentality, and I'm so proud of him. A lot of times, you know, as you and again mixing a lot of players from a lot of different backgrounds and you know transfers and and new roles and everything, it just takes some time to build chemistry, the the kind of chemistry that it takes to win a lot of games. 
but this team seems to really like each other and like to be around each other, which is a good start there. But how how do you kind of progress that chemistry along to get it to where it needs to be to, you know, where it translates night in and night out on a basketball court? You know what? You just got to hold them accountable, you know, hold them accountable and, and, and make sure that they're holding each, each other accountable, you know, for us to continue to make strides. Um, the coaching staff, we can do so much. And we could we could make we could be, uh, demand them to do things, but at the end of the day, these kids know how to communicate. They know how to talk. You, we see it all day, every day, with the phone in their hands. You know, <laughs> so we need to. We always tell them put those phones down and use your voice a little bit more. You know, and that's where a couple of our defensive mistakes have come. But I'm telling you right now, our team cares, and and we're gonna continue to harp on them, harp on them, and harp on them, and and we'll we'll get this team where we need them to be. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Still have a lot of time here left with Armand Gates in about another half hour. If you got some questions or texts, you want to give us a call on our Woodhouse Auto Family hotline, 402-413-2400. Get those in now. we got to take a quick break. We're back with more with Coach Gates coming up after this. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up and back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Well, it's halftime. How do we kill 15 minutes? I think I have some really old hard candies in my purse. Ick. Well, we could play rock, paper, scissors. I'd rather eat the hard candy. Oh, I forgot. I bought a bunch of Nebraska Lottery scratch tickets before we came. Excellent. Hand them down. What a great selection. The Nebraska Lottery launches new scratch games every month. Anybody got a quarter to scratch them with? Anybody? Hey, hand me one of those old hard candies. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Dato Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DatoSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Finally, it's time to tailgate, to find your spot in a sea of red, to get together with family and fans, and to share what makes Husker football season the best. This season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with their big red double jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only $17.99 each. Order yours at Valentino's.com. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. Valentino's, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. 
At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Shop the Season of Inspiration sales event at Woodhouse Mazda today. Whether you're looking for a vehicle for your next adventure or an SUV with third row capacity for the whole family, the Mazda lineup has you covered. From the Mazda CX-3 to the Mazda CX-9, the Mazda family of crossovers is designed for the road ahead. Test drive one today at one of our two convenient Woodhouse Mazda locations in Bellevue or Omaha, or shop online today. Making your car buying easy. This is Woodhouse. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple stack corn hybrids and Enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Husker fans, there's a Black Friday deal for everyone. Starting Friday through Cyber Monday, there will be a handful of ticket deals available for Husker athletic events. For more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Got a couple more segments here with Armand Gates before we'll uh, hand it over to Greg Sharp and the football show for the week. We got a text for you on our Woodhouse Auto Family text line. Curtis in West Point, how do you get the guys to move the ball around more to open more shots? Uh, Curtis, that's a great question. Um, you know what? If, if, you take, if you take out the uh, Western Illinois game where we had, I believe, six assists, uh, we're averaging close to probably about 15 16 assists per game. Um, one thing that we did after the Western Illinois game was in practice, we just put a one dribble rule in just so those guys can really have the ball pop, you know. And, and another thing is we have to have our shooters ready. I think we pass up a lot of shots, and then it has to get back to a ball handler to create another shot opportunity for the team. So if we get our guys to be more shot, shot ready, I think I think that, um, you know, that the ball movement – Will be will look much better than it has been. And then uh, um, I had a question that made me think, but now I lost it. But <laughs> Curtis, appreciate the text again. Uh, that's on our Woodhouse Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline four zero two four one three twenty four hundred. Few more minutes here with uh, Coach Gates. So you guys have had a schedule where you had uh, a lot on the road, a lot of, or a lot of games at home. You got one more at home coming up on Saturday versus South Dakota before you you'll hit the road for the first time. How good has it been for this team to have this many games in a row at home inside PBA? Anytime you can start the season off and, and, and have these many home games is good because you're in your environment where, you know, you're, you don't have to go on the road and play a tough, a tough, a, a tough team and a crowd at the same time. Uh, road games are, are very tough to win. So that's why it's important for us to take care of our home court, and that's what we preach about. But this has been phenomenal for our, for our squad to continue to iron out some wrinkles that we've had. We've talked a lot about it. I mean, fans have seen it. It's, you know, it's been evident. This team has not shot the ball well. They're going to shoot it better. So to find ways to win some of these games, 
how much can that you know help a team later on when when you know the shot isn't falling that you found other ways to get into the win column? You know, it, it, it'll help in a, in a big way. Uh, like, like I said yesterday, we didn't shoot it particularly well, but we found other other we did other things to help us win that ball game. Um, we we defended we didn't defend, defend the three very well, but inside the arc we defended very well. Um, and, and guess what we're going to do? We're going to get to work tomorrow. Today was a day off. We're going to get to work tomorrow and work on taking away three-point shots. You know, our, our closeouts and have early high hands, that's going to help in, in a huge way. And in the future, you know, once we get, get our transition defense again, and that's why we're, wrink, we're ironing these wrinkles out, uh, our transition defense will get better. And then guess what? Physicality is going to get better as well um, with boxing out. All right, one final break here, and we got one last segment with Armand Gates. So if you got any questions or calls, get those in now. And then coming up at seven o'clock, we've got the football coach, the football show, the Nebraska football show coming up at seven o'clock this season. Share Valentino's tailgater tradition with our Big Red Double Jumbo Deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only seventeen seventy-nine each. Order yours online at valentinos.com. Valentinos, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red. Inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne, Nebraska Athletics is proud to introduce the 255 Collection. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple-stack corn hybrids and Enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that, and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. Carney Equipment, Carney, Nebraska, your big red Massey Ferguson dealer in central Nebraska. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Nebraska fans. Jimmy Johns in Omaha is currently looking for people to join their team with sandwich maker positions starting at $12 to $15 an hour, management positions with competitive pay and benefits, and delivery drivers earning up to $30 an hour with mileage and tips. Visit DKPMCorp.com and apply now. That's DKPMCorp. Dot com. Come join the Jimmy John's team today. You can also visit any of the local independently owned and operated Jimmy John's franchises to learn more. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. Chevy, find new roads. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. Final segment here of our Nebraska men's basketball show with Armand Gates. And then we will hand it over to Greg Sharp, who will have Ron Brown and Eric Chenander in studio during the 7 o'clock hour. Well, uh, so we were talking a little bit about, you know, the um, last 
home game that you guys will have before you'll hit the road for the first time. Uh, North or South Dakota is next up. What have you guys seen out of them? You know what? A very well coached team, uh, methodical team. They run their system extremely well. And, and what you'll see with them on the defensive end, those guys really pack it in. Um, they, they don't want you to get into their paint. A very good charge taking team. They will not beat themselves. Uh, they want you to make the mistakes, and they capitalize off those mistakes. Uh, so defensively, you'll see them tight. Uh, you won't see them post double. Uh, you'll see them dig hard. If Derek Walker gets it on the block, you'll see them try to, you know, distract them uh, on the perimeter while the big man that's guarding them just try to wall them up with his chest or whatever. And uh, offensively, they are it's a sneaky transition team who can get a lot of baskets. And if you don't find their shooters, they can shoot the cover off the ball. And what they do extremely well on the offensive end is, is crash the offensive glass. So that's something that we have struggled with on the defensive end is uh, defensive rebounding. So that's going to be something that we stress starting tomorrow. Is this your scout? It, you can tell it's my <laughs> scout, right? It is definitely yes. my scout. And uh, they, they did. They gave us a run for our money last year, so they do have our attention. Uh, do you enjoy that part of it, the uh, game planning to go up against the opponent? Absolutely. That's 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 probably the one of the one of the better better uh, parts of my job is is trying to set up a game plan to defeat another team, the opposing team, and take away their strengths. Uh, and as they try to take away your strengths, you come up with a game plan offensively to uh, expose them defensively. So that's one of the, and, and that started at a young age, playing my brother in, in Madden or playing them in, in, in NBA 2K or something like that. And you just, you know, you just continue. You, with me, I run the same, I, I will run the same play until you stop it. You know what I mean? So it'll, it'll, it'll upset the opposing team and it, it'll, it'll do a lot of things that you don't know psychologically to the opposing team. When you guys have uh, so many, it's a deep bench, and you've had a lot of guys that have come in that have, you know, uh, taken advantage of their opportunity, but a lot of players, and Coach Hoiberg talked about that, about figuring out the rotation and the roles and whatnot. How do you guys feel, you know, so far, you know, four and two into this and a couple exhibition games about the rotation and figuring out when guys are, you know, good to put in in certain situations you feel like you're getting a feel for how this rotation needs to be we're starting to get a feel but you also you know throughout the course of the game you, you'll look down the bench and you'll see some guys unhappy some guys happy some guys you know sad and you try to keep your team together and again that's that's part of the sacrifice that 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 your team has to has to put together. Uh, Coach Hoiberg said from year one that he was never good playing a, a lot of guys. You know, he, his rotations, you know, was always eight to nine guys. And this year, he he's dug a little deeper. You know, giving guys opportunities because we have a deeper bench. But we are feeling more comfortable. Uh, of course, Trey going down, we had to you know switch some things around a little bit. But that's what coaches do. Dorothy Lynch home style and light and lean dressing, endless flavor abilities. Uh, so we got some tasty toppings there. Thanksgiving. Are you, you like Thanksgiving? Are you a Thanksgiving oh, fan? Absolutely. 100%. I may come in 10 pounds heavier. <laughs> <laughs> What's your uh, favorite? What's your favorite uh, dish of Thanksgiving? You know what? Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to go with um, some, some dressing and some uh, collard greens and cor with cornbread. I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge, huge uh, collard green guy. And when it comes to the meat... I, Ham, sometimes turkey, you know, just depend on, 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 on how it's cooked. Your kids, your kids like Thanksgiving? They help in the kitchen? Do they? Absolutely. <laughs> they, my, they've, they've been helping my wife this morning uh, since they've been off school. Uh, the girls have. You know, I got the two girls, two older girls and two younger boys. The boys have just been causing chaos, <laughs> you know, and uh, the girls have been helping big time in the kitchen. So you guys will have practice then uh, on Thanksgiving? Yes, we on will. On Thursday. And then uh, have Friday and then uh, back to work on Saturday. Has this been good, the stretch of kind of quick turns, turnarounds for this team? You know what? It has been because, again, when, when, when you don't play particularly well or you struggle in cer certain areas – and some guys don't play to the best of their abilities. The good thing about about basketball is you, you, sometimes you get one day prep and you got to get right back at it, you know. And uh, coach preaches in NBA sometimes you go back to back. So he's put that in our guys' heads to not, you know, never get too high, never get too low. Just stay even keel because you'll have another opportunity here real soon. So after practice, and will the team get to partake in some Thanksgiving festivities? Absolutely, and they have they have numerous places to go. They have my my place, Coach Abdal Massey's, Coach Hoyberg's, and some of them do are local, and some may go with with a local teammate that lives here.
Who would you, if you got an eating contest for Thanksgiving, who's who are you picking on this team? In terms of who to eat the most food? Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to have to probably go with Eduardo. Eduardo, <laughs> he gets after it now. <laughs> Eduardo, he can get after it. I'm telling you right now. So it will be my winner. What What about dessert? What's your dessert go-to? Pecan pie. Pecan off pie. Off the charts, 100%. Yeah, I'm with you. I like pecan pie over uh, pumpkin pie for sure. Oh, for sure. I'm with you. All right, Armand Gates, appreciate uh, you spending some time with us here on this Thanksgiving Eve. Enjoy it with the family. I know you'll have practice, and then uh, we'll get to spend some time with your family, so I appreciate your time. Thanks for having me today. All right, so Nebraska will have be back in action coming up on Saturday against South Dakota. That is a 1 p.m. tip, so it's a full busy weekend here in Lincoln with hoops and football and speaking of football coming up next greg sharp will be joined here in studio it's pre-recorded so we won't be able to take phone calls but ron brown eric chenander in studio with greg sharp buckle up and put the phone down a reminder from the indy ot highway safety office enjoy your thanksgiving everybody and thanks for listening stick around hour two with the nebraska football show coming up next Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From the field to game day tailgates, make the most of this season with a new Ford from Woodhouse. Now offering 0% APR for 60 months and up to $1,000 in bonus cash on select vehicles. Plus, shop, finance, and buy your way online at woodhouseford.com or one of our three convenient Ford dealerships. So get a win this season with Woodhouse Ford. WACTTL Extra must finance with Ford Credit Financing. Vehicle delivery to by 132022. 299.fee due at signing. Offer expires 1130-2021. See dealer for details. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill, see you there for the game. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov Woohoo! Business Technology 1, Network Downtime 0. Being a game-winning IT network takes hard work and an experienced technology coach. That's why our game plan includes Marco. Marco helps our entire business infrastructure perform better and score big day in and day out. With Marco's veteran experience guiding our team, every season is a winning season. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com.
This is the Nebraska Radio Football Show. Proudly brought to you by Channel. Channel Seedsmen place products to perform across Nebraska. Get expert advice that yields results at channel.com. Steps the back. He gets the handoff. Piles his way into the end zone. That's a touchdown. Nebraska holding, holding, getting hit. Garrett Nelson brings him down. There's your Big Mac sack of the game. Gets the snap. Back to throw. Steps, throws, pass. Caught to Ray. Touchdown, Nebraska. Turn. Give it off to the fullback. Stuffed and stopped. Stuffed and stopped at the 32-yard line. It's a loss of a yard. Huskers will take over on down. The Nebraska Football Radio Show is presented by Bayer. Science for a better life. Also presented by your Midwest Ford dealers. Visit buyfordnow.com. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. This is the Nebraska Radio Football Show. Proudly brought to you by Channel. Channel Seedsmen place products to perform across Nebraska. Get expert advice that yields results at channel.com. Steps the back. He gets the handoff. Piles his way into the end zone. That's a touchdown. Nebraska holding, holding, getting hit. Garrett Nelson brings him down. There's your Big Mac sack of the game. Gets the snap. Back to throw. Steps, throws, pass. Caught to Ray. Touchdown, Nebraska. Turn. Give it off to the fullback. Stuffed and stopped. Stuffed and stopped at the 32-yard line. It's a loss of a yard. Huskers will take over on down. The Nebraska Football Radio Show is presented by Bayer. Science for a better life. Also presented by your Midwest Ford dealers. Visit buyfordnow.com. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here is your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our Huskers Football Radio Show for the week. The Huskers getting ready to wrap up the regular season with the annual Black Friday game against the Iowa Hawkeyes. A little different twist for you tonight. We're going to have a couple of coaches join us. First, Ron Brown going to be in the hot seat, and then we'll bring in defensive coordinator Eric Chenander, so we'll cover both sides of the football here in our final show for the regular season for the Big Red, coming off of a a gallant effort on the road against a really good Badger team, 35-28 the final. And Coach Brown, great to see you. It's good to have you in here. Um, This is probably not something you thought you might be doing about a month ago. It's been an (laughs) interesting couple of weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been. It's been been tough, you know. but uh, Coach Frost has done, I think, a great job of uh, communicating what he felt he needed to do, and not only to the coaches, but also to the players. You know, and I, it's it's never easy. I've been on both sides of this, but um, I think we're ready to move forward in whatever direction uh, it uh, it has to be in terms of making final personnel decisions, et cetera. You, you uh, certainly knew a couple of those coaches very, very well. You knew them all well, but you knew a couple of them very well, some that you even coached or recruited, correct? Yes. Um, you know, I recruited and coached Ryan Held. He was one of my receivers back in the day when I was coaching the wide receivers and tight ends and wingbacks. Um, Greg Austin uh, I recruited out of Houston. And so, yeah, I mean, you know, our families, we all know each other, and uh, it's tough. Uh, but again, uh, you know, over the years, I've talked to guys like Tony Dungy and um, uh, Les Steckel, former head coaches in the National Football League. We talked about having to cut players, having to cut even personal friends on the coaching staff. Never an easy deal. But for it, one man's meat is another man's poison, in a sense. For for some, when you lose your job, and I, again, I've been on that side of it, it feels poisonous. <laughs> uh, for the other guy who comes in, it feels like it's meat. Uh, so you have uh, one person thinking it's a great thing, another person thinking it's not such a good thing. But isn't that what life is for everyone? I mean, all the people who are listening today, fans and so forth, you've all probably been through those things. It could be you that lost a job. It could be, uh, you know, a child of yours who, who, who didn't get a break. But another family says, well, my child got a break instead of that other child. And so for them, it's a break. And for them, receiving the job is a break. So I think the Lord kind of balances it out as, uh, as we go through life. And our response is more important than anything. Coach Frost said it was a really tough 72 hours. How was it for the players in your running back room? How, how did they handle that whole time? I, I thought we handled it well. I mean, I, I think for young guys, when, you, when you're used to relationships, um, 
it's tough. Uh, we've had situations before. You know, I was I was at a, a time when I was here. Of course, I've been here with four different head coaches, um, but there have been times here where we had uh, four or five new uh, different positional coaches at the same position in a row, four years in a row, five years in a row of a new coach at that position. And so we've had some players who have gone through their entire career with a different position coach every year. That's not easy. But again, uh, Boyd Epley used to have a saying way back in the end, uh, back, in the, back in the day, um, the great ones adjust. And in life, at times, we have to be light on our feet. And again, it comes back to our response, our perspective on life. Uh, when you lose, can you still win? When you win, does that mean you never lose? No, you, you, you're going to go through the ups and downs of life. There are two tests in life, uh, prosperity and adversity. How do you handle those? What's your response? That ultimately was, is what it comes down to. So I, I just ask the Lord to give me strength in every single situation. And uh, not only can you survive it, you can thrive in it. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Visiting with Ron Brown here on our Nebraska football show for the week. Huskers getting ready to play Iowa. Let's talk some football a little bit. Um, some different guys had to step up in your room last week against Wisconsin. Some injuries and that type of thing that have happened. How did you feel like your guys handled the, the game against the Badgers? Again, the, the room was decimated a little bit. Uh, you know, when you think about uh, Gabe Irving was our starting tailback uh, way back in the Oklahoma game, got hurt in that game. Uh, since then, we've lost uh, um, Marquis, uh, excuse me, Mar Marquis Step uh, uh, has been in and out a little bit with injuries, but uh, we lost um, Savion, Savion yeah. Morrison. Uh, Ramirez been down with an injury. Uh, so, yeah, it's been tough, tough sledding. But the guys have, have done a nice job. Brody Belt came in and did a great job for us. You know, he's been a, a backup receiver all year, uh, but he's a heady guy. He used to be a running back. You can play him at both. There's a lot of things that he can do. I thought he did remarkably well against Wisconsin. In fact, I told our guys, listen, um, Wisconsin was statistically the number one defense in college football, and that's been a pretty good portion of the year. They've gone from playing a tough team like Army to lining up against a tough team like Purdue and shutting both those teams down. They do a great job on defense. They're well coached. They play hard. Uh, they gave up an average of 1.9 yards per carry up until our game. Well, we went uh, th uh, 3.2 yards a carry in our game among those running backs. So I, I said, look, it wasn't pretty. It was tough. But we, we did a nice job with guys who hadn't played in several weeks. And so I was pleased with the, uh, the overall effort. We came within, uh, again, a score from winning the game. We had opportunities. I was very proud of the players. You know, um, you, perseverance is a word that I think has been attached to this Husker team all season long. And I think about that a lot when I think about Marvin. I mean, he was a guy who played quite a bit last year in the COVID year mm -hmm. and then just got beat out but didn't hang his head too much. And I thought he looked like he had fresh legs in that game. I, I'm proud of Marvin. I, I love him. And uh, – He's got a beautiful smile, and, a, and, a, and I think he really found something deep inside. We talked about all week long, what's under the hood? The car can look pretty on the outside. It may go, it may have the, have the potential of going real fast, but if you check under the hood and the right stuff isn't going on there, it's not going anywhere. It's just going to sit in the driveway. And so we talk a lot about what kind of character you have. Who are you inside? Uh, I, I've remembered guys like Rex Burkhead, Amir Abdullah, um, guys like uh, uh, Roger Craig. These guys were extremely unselfish guys. They weren't just pretty on the outside and talented, but they had that motor inside. And when things didn't go their way, they had tremendous resiliency. And that's always been a part of that room, that running back room. And uh, we want to uh, get back to where we are the right kind of men with those great bodies that God has given us. Let's jump ahead to, to the Friday matchup with Iowa. Pretty typical Iowa team, isn't it? Some of the defensive numbers they put up are pretty impressive. Yeah, well, they're, they're always a, an excellent team. They do a great job of fundamentals. They block, they tackle, uh, they, they get leverage, uh, they play hard. Uh, they have a system, they have a protocol of how they do things in the offseason, et cetera. And, you know, when you have that kind of longevity and fundamental training, uh, those habits being built, um, nothing seems to revolve around just one guy all the time. They have some really good players, obviously, but they're truly a team. And so 
they've always done a great job. Uh, sometimes they're a team that, just like Wisconsin at times, have started off slow. They build momentum as time goes on because they do the same things over and over and over again. They get good at what they do. And so they're <laughs> obviously it's, it's going to be a real tough game. They're clearly one of the top teams in college football this year. Yeah. And the Oscars will not have the same starting quarterback. Adrian's season is over with the shoulder injury. I feel terrible for him. Hmm. Give me a little peek behind the curtain of Logan Smothers. What, what, what can we expect to see in this game? Well, Logan is a, he's a great kid, uh, a tremendous worker, a guy that is, I think he's improved a ton in every phase of the game. Um, and he's a guy that has a lot of resiliency himself. Uh, hats off to Adrian. I, I told Adrian the other day, I said, look, man, I've been around here forever. I'm like, I'm as old as dirt around here, you know? And, <laughs> and uh, I said, I've seen a lot of players come through here. Uh, I said, to break the total offense record, uh, that's saying something. At, at this place, that's saying something. And, you know, he was, um, he was a warrior in many ways. I know the quarterback and the head coach, they tend to get more uh, criticism than they deserve and more praise at times than when they do, what, what they deserve. But um, uh, somewhere in the middle of all that, Adrian uh, showed tremendous resiliency. And he played while he was banged up. He put his neck on the line every single game. We put a lot on him. Um, the run pass uh, uh, dual game of his, uh, remarkable in some situations, really. Was he perfect? No. Was anybody perfect? No. But uh, I'll tell you what, without Adrian, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have had, I think, the close games that we had. He, he truly, I think, guided us to a lot of this. And then, again, hats off to Coach Frost because, um, you know, for, for t t to have to sit in front of a, the press after every game with almost the same thing to say about how it could have been won uh, it's tough. It takes a lot of resiliency. I'm proud of him. I think he's he's a tremendous man. I'm I'm thankful uh, to the Lord for the for an, another opportunity that he gets uh, to lead the Huskers, and um, you know I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Last thing for you, mm -hmm. Coach, before we let you go, we've had questions throughout the week about Jacquez Jant. Mm -hmm. um, how's he doing? Chance maybe to see him on Friday? Yeah, yeah, there is. Uh, there's a very good chance to see him on Friday. Um, you know uh, those who really love you will discipline you when they need to. And I love Jup, and, and we all do. Um, and we did what we needed to do um, in terms of the protocol of this university and, and also uh, our football team. He, 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 didn't, he didn't do anything like really drastically bad, but we have some team rules on in certain things. And um, so we, had, we needed to deal with that. We needed to pay rent on that. The debt has been forgiven, and we move on. And I think uh, that's always been part of this program. And when you, when you follow through on those kinds of things, when you keep the 10-foot rim at 10 feet and don't lower the rim, I think you're going to get consistency from your players. And that, that kind of discipline is what leads to championships later on. Very good. Coach, we appreciate you coming in. Best of luck against those Hawkeyes. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks. Appreciate it, Greg. There he is, Ron Brown with us here. Our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. Defensive coordinator Eric Chenander will join me next. This year, don't just get ready. Get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. What is HighBid.com? It's the online auction site for just about everything under the sun. Art and antiques, cars and coins, office equipment and furniture, toys and tools. You can find it all at HighBid.com. HighBid.com gives you access to thousands of auctions across the USA and around the world. Browse the most popular auctions, search for the exact item you want, or just explore the site. Go to HighBid.com. That's H-I-B-I-D.com and find what you're looking for today. A shield against the elements. Comfort in the midst of chaos. Shelter in the aftermath of destruction. For 75 years, Shelter Insurance has remained true to our promise to be there when you need us most. 
This is the heartbeat of our company, our why. Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. See shelter agent Travis Hawk in Scotts Bluff and ask about shelter's competitive rates. You trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance, all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy's Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. This year, don't just get ready. Get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Come back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer. 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas Acres Solutions for every field. Our football show continues now with defensive coordinator Eric Shenander in the house. As you went back and looked at tape from last week's game, what what'd you see? Was it what you thought at the time or different? Yeah, I think it was a lot of what I saw from, uh, you know, the box watching the game. Um yeah, shoot, there's a lot of good, a lot of positive out of there. Third down, we played good football um, in the first half. I thought we played really good football aside from the uh, the big uh, run we gave up in the short yardage area. Um, and I think it was just, uh, you know, it was, not a, it was not a great night for us tackling, 100% sure. And like I said in the media before, I had some of those kids fitting the run awful fast. And um, sometimes when that happens, things develop quickly and it 
you know, bounces out a little bit. So uh, I'll take the blame on that that piece of it. Uh, certainly not on the kids, but you know, I thought we we needed to tackle better. We needed to. Uh, do a few things better, get our eyes a little bit cleaner. But there's a lot of positives to take away. And then, like I said, there's a lot of things to clean up as well. A couple of big fourth down stops. That had to be encouraging to see. Yeah, really good. And I think, uh, shoot, when you're, when you're talking about, I think right now in college football, when you get across the 45 and you go for it on fourth and three or less, it's like 80%. Uh, you get the you get the first down, so th- those stops are are incremental. Those are just like a turnover uh, to me, but the fourth down stops were key. And then I thought the, the guys played pretty well on third down as well. We're getting deep into the season, and that's usually when your depth gets tested. And you you're, you are you you've got some main guys that are are out. JoJo is is done after the surgery after the Ohio State game. How about some players that that are now getting snaps for you that weren't early in the year because they're behind those other players? What did you see from that group? Yeah, I, I was encouraged by that. I mean, obviously, when you get you know thrown in the deep water, especially against a crew like Wisconsin, uh, things are going to be. I mean, you're going to really get tested. Um, you know, we had we had some guys in there with uh, you know Damian Daniels. You know, got banged up in the second half, and Nash Hutmaker got a ton of reps in that game. Um, and I thought he played well against a, a really good offensive line. Blaze Gunnerson got a lot of reps, um, and he played really well for his first game as a, as a freshman. Your first game ever playing, and you got to go, you know, play against a, a really salty Wisconsin crew. Um, so I was proud of those guys for doing that. And I think um, you know, there's a lot of young players in the program that are. You know, you're starting to see them develop, starting to see what we thought we had as a, as a freshman, and that happens in the Big Ten. You know, this is an unbelievable conference, very physical conference. I don't think anybody comes in here and just lights the world on fire the day they walk on campus, but a lot of these guys are really developing into to what we thought. Mentioned JoJo, so Isaac Gifford got a chance to start. How did he grade out? Yeah, he did, he did a lot of nice things, and I'm sure Isaac will tell you uh, Isaac's as hard on him as – uh, on himself as I am, um, but he, you know, he had a couple busts, and there's some things that he needs to prove. But he played really well um, in his first football game too, and I thought he played a, a physical football game. You know, he was coming in there and setting the edge, and he had to do it on some guards and and some tight ends. And I thought he did a really good job in the run game and uh, did a well, uh, do well in the pass game. Also, uh, like I said, there's a few things we can clean up, but Isaac's a, Isaac's a competitor. He's a guy that really wants to wants to win. He's uh, all in for Nebraska, and I think he's going to be a really good player for a lot of years here. The, the environment there is pretty intense. They love their football player. They've had great football teams. So to get your feet wet in a game like that, in an atmosphere like that, it's, that's a pretty big thing to make your initial splash. Yeah, I, I think it is. But um, also those guys are trained to do it. True. And they, they didn't back down from the challenge. And I think that will serve them uh, very well moving forward. Um, you're going to go into some of these games and think, well, this isn't – that big of a deal. It wasn't like my first game when I had to go against Wisconsin. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a daunting task. And I'm sure there were some, some big guys down there at times. But our assistant coaches did a really good job of getting everybody calmed down, um, even when things didn't go our way and, and made some corrections and got those guys settled down. So kudos to, the, to all the assistants that were down there with the kids. Speaking of the assistants, the, the shakeup happened a couple of weeks ago on, on the offensive side of the ball. Um, I mean, that was that's hard on any staff, isn't it, to know that 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 takes place? It wasn't. Coach Frost said it was a really rough 72 hours. That, that's got to be difficult to go through that. You guys all become pretty good friends. Yeah, I mean, shoot, a lot of those guys I've known for 10 years, maybe even 20. Um, so it's very hard, and you know, you know their families, you know those coaches, and it's very difficult to go through as you know a grown up in this deal. And I'm sure it's even more challenging as a young man in this program so I think you know we have to make sure that we get our arms around the kids and um, you know some of the defensive guys get their arms around some offensive guys and, and just let them know that there's people in the building that love them and care about them uh, you know their coach isn't here anymore but there, there's still a lot of people that are on their side and um, you know it's changed sometimes is you know no matter who makes that decision sometimes it's better and I hope all those guys that you know, aren't here anymore, move on, and they, they, you know, get a better situation than they had here because, like I said, they're my friends. They're really good men. They're really good football coaches, and they have a really awesome family. So I just hope that everything happens for the best for those guys. Very good. Husker fans, there's a Black Friday deal for everyone starting Friday through Cyber Monday. There will be a handful of ticket deals available for Husker athletic events. For more information, go visit huskers.com 
slash tickets. It's our Husker football show here on the Huskers Radio Network. We're back with more with Coach Shenander coming right up. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. UNL has been named one of the best schools for veterans for the fifth year in a row. The ranking on the Military Times Best for Vets survey reflects the hard work of Nebraska's Military and Veteran Success Center, serving military dependents, veterans, National Guard members, active duty troops, and many Husker students in the reserves. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, teammates have served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a teammate's mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org. And thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every season presents a new opportunity. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, which is lean into every new opportunity. They focus on their roots and continue to stay tougher together with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative leans on their values of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. Aurora Cooperative, tougher together. Preparation, it's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker pride, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's Game On at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC Business Elite dealer... We offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. We are professional grade. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deto Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DetoSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. 
Stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the Huskers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. These social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding Nebraska athletics, including game times, results, ticket promotions, prize giveaways, and more. Log on to also follow several sport-specific pages and Husker head coaches. Join today and interact with thousands of Husker fans around the world. Visit huskers.com slash social media to see all of our accounts. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, Teammates has served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a Teammates mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org. And thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. You could win a 2021 Ford F1. 50 XL four-wheel drive super crew truck from Woodhouse Auto Family this season. If the Huskers return the first or second half kickoff for a touchdown, Woodhouse is going to give away an F-150. New contestants are going to be chosen each week. For details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto Family kickoff contest and official rules, go to huskers.com slash Woodhouse. Our winner this week is Eric Williams from Geneva, Nebraska. Congratulations, Eric. Good luck for the Black Friday game against the Iowa Hawkeyes. It's our football show here. Uh, on a Wednesday night as the Huskers prepare for the Black Friday game against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Let's talk a little Iowa football. As you study them, same staff, different names and numbers, but probably a lot of the same schemes that they've run for years. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of carryover from years past. Um, always introduced new wrinkles, always new uh, complimentary pass game off their, their base run game. Uh, you know, they've shown a little bit more gap scheme in the past few weeks and a few new wrinkles. Uh, but they do what they do, and they do it really well. Um, those guys are coached up well. They have a very solid scheme, and I think their technique is really sound up front. So it's always a challenge to, to you know, run the run your defense against those stretch schemes, those inside zone schemes, especially those backs are, are very, very good at seeing the hole and cutting it back and knowing where, where the ball should go. So it's a challenge for leverage. It's a challenge for gap integrity, and it's a challenge for all the cutback players on the defense. They changed quarterbacks a couple of weeks ago. Alex Padilla now is the, the guy, and we may see both of them in this game on Friday. How, what, what does he do well? What does the, the new quarterback for Iowa do? Yeah, I think both, both Spencer Petras and Alex Padilla have, um, you know, a lot of the same qualities and, and a lot of, the, a lot of uh, things that are unique to them. And like you said, we don't know who we're going to see. I think they're both healthy now, so I assume we might see both or we might see either one. It's, it's kind of up in the air. Um, I do think, you know, Alex Padilla does a better job maybe of getting the ball out of his hands, whereas Spencer Petras probably knows the offense a little better and knows where he's going with the football. Um, so I think they both present, present some interesting challenges, but they've, they've both done a good job. And I think Alex Padilla is – you know, ascended since he's got his time as the starter. So I think it'll be interesting to see who plays and also how those guys come out and, and roll on Friday. Second straight week, Coach, that the leading receiver for the other team is a tight end. You had Ferguson last week for Wisconsin and Laporta here for Iowa. Probably pretty unique in college football, isn't it? The tight end's the leading pass catcher? Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, you know, it's I think it's unique in the global scheme of college football, but I think when you look at Iowa and, and uh, Wisconsin and what they do, it's probably not a surprise. Um, they've always took pride in their tight ends. Uh, those guys have been really good over the past few years on, on both teams. And I think the quarterbacks feel a, a certain comfort or safety blanket in getting the, the ball to the tight end. So um, definitely a guy you got to look out for, as, as you did last week. Jack Ferguson's a, a heck of a ball player. Um, but you always got to know where they're at, and you always got to have a way to maybe take them away if you want to. And there's other times when somebody's going to be one-on-one, -on -one and they gotta they got to understand the battle. How much bootleg action will you see on, in this one, do you think? Well, that's, you know, that's, that's what we were talking about a little bit, that, that complimentary pass game. I don't think it's, you know, you're going to see some play action shots. 
where they're going to max pro it and throw the ball deep and then probably a, a more steady dose of play action you know the run the boot bootleg play where they're they're showing that stretch they're going to get you to overflow 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 and then they're going to boot that thing back the other way and um, try to get your defenders out leverage so we've been uh, you know obviously we've worked a pretty steady dose of the bootlegs in practice and fitting those things up but I think I think you'll see a, a fair amount of that this week your co- defensive coaches say a lot it's about the eyes your eyes have to be locked into where they need to be I imagine in misdirection and boot type plays that's really key yeah it's huge it's huge and it's easy you know that what you're saying about your eyes is simple, but it's not easy. Um, it's 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 very common that when the ball starts flowing one way, you take your eyes away from they need to be and you start running for the football. That's where cut uh, big cutbacks happen in the run game. That's where you can give up some some uh, long passes in the boot game or the max pro shots. Uh, so keeping your eyes clean is, is very simple, but it's not easy task. And I think that, you know, we've been stressing that all year. Um, it's paid off. Maybe last week we got a little sloppy with our eyes, but we need to continue to focus that this, this week. Dorothy Lynch, home style, light and lean dressing, endless flavor abilities. Again, visiting with Eric Chenander here on our football show. Huskers and Hawkeyes to finish off the regular season on Friday, 12.30 kickoff at Memorial Stadium. So it's senior day. Usually senior days are kind of cut and dry. A little bit more dicey now because of COVID and everybody can have de- decisions going through that. Let, let's just generally talk about the seniors on this team, on your side of the ball. What have they meant to you? Yeah, I think, shoot, they've meant everything. I mean, some of those guys, when we first got here, to be quite honest with you, I didn't know if they would make it the whole time. And some of those guys that I thought weren't going to make it have turned out to be my favorite guys on the whole team. Um, shoot, they've, they've built a great culture in that room. And I think that's highly to do with that senior group and the other leaders. Uh, they've developed themselves as players. They've given a lot to the program and in the state. Uh, and they've given me a lot to be proud of this year as they continue to improve the defense. And I think the culture they built will only serve as a springboard for the defense to continue to improve as we move forward, even though that their presence will be felt. I think the, the culture that they left will, will do us wonders moving forward. So. Um, those guys have meant everything to me. And, you know, obviously there's a few that I hope we get back. And uh, it's kind of weird with COVID. You don't know who's coming back and who's not. But uh, those guys are a special group. And I'll be uh, forever indebted to those guys. Take me back 12, 11 months ago when those six decided to come back for another year for you, those super seniors. That had to be almost like a recruiting bonus, right? To get like a Doman and a Stilly and, and the safeties all to come back. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, you know, there was a, a few days where, you know, I was sure we were getting none of them back. And then my mind would say, we're getting them all back. And then my mind would wander and we're going to get some guys back and half of them aren't going to come back. But, um, you know, we talked to all of them individually and, um, you know, they made that decision. Um, they weren't, you know, forced into it. They made that decision. I think that was the only way it could have got made. They had to want to do it. Um, and they did. And they made it kind of almost together as a group. And I think that that kind of bonded them together and it made it a, a special year for those guys on, on defense. Um, have you started having conversations with guys about whether they want to take advantage or did just Coach Frost handle all those? How do you guys divvy that up? No, you know, a little bit, but I'd like to have the bulk of those conversations after the year. I don't want to take away from what's going on from the rest of the guys or, or from that young man's uh, end of his season. So I think those some of those conversations will happen here in the weeks to come, maybe um, next week or the following week. But I think we'll, we'll, we'll all be able to get a lot more information on what they should do. You know, sometimes, sometimes I want them back, but maybe that's not the best decision for the young man. Or sometimes they want to come back, and that's not the best decision for the young man. So I think in a few weeks we'll, we'll get our resources together from the National Football League, and we'll get some input for everybody. And then hopefully them and their family, with, with our help, can make the best decision possible for, for each individual guy. As soon as this thing wraps, I know you're probably headed out on the road. Recruiting is coming up. That signing day is on the 15th of, of December. That isn't very far away. Yeah, I think uh, I think the first day we can be out is Sunday. Um, so it's going to be – we'll have about two weeks with, with official visitors um, in between then. So it's, it'll, it'll be fast and furious for about 15 days coming up. Right. Coming up next, we're going to uh, play a little clip from, from one of those super seniors, and that's Ben Stilley. T- t- tell me a little bit about your time with him and – you coached a lot of football with that young man. Yeah, I mean, Ben's been a, a guy that's uh, – he's 
made himself here. He's he's developed into a really really good football player. Um, he's always been a student of the game. He's always been a guy that's had great pride in playing for Nebraska. Uh, he's always been a leader on the team. He 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 takes a lot of pride in helping the younger players at his position. Uh, you know, and just the guy that you you want around the building. I wish we could have him for a few more seasons, but I know he's he's given us. Uh, probably more than our fair share. So very thankful for Ben, very thankful to get around him as much as we have. And um, shoot, we wish him nothing but the best moving forward. Sounds like coaches get pretty emotional on senior day too, huh? Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a, mixed, it's a mixed emotions too. You're happy as heck for these guys. You're happy for them to be with their family. You're sad you don't get to, to see them around anymore. Um, but it's, a, it's a definitely a mixed bag of emotions on senior day. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Happy Thanksgiving to you and, and the Chenander family. And let, let's go. Uh, let's go get a win on Friday. Absolutely. Thank you. There he is, Eric Chenander, Husker defensive coordinator, with us here on our Husker Football Radio Hour. Nebraska eight one one says, "Go dig red before you dig." Always call or click eight one one to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy, and it's the law. We're back to hear from Ben Silly, part of our Cornusker conversation for the week. That's coming up next. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders. Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Well, it's halftime. How do we kill 15 minutes? I think I have some really old hard candies in my purse. Ick. Well, it could play rock, paper, scissors. I'd rather eat the hard candy. Oh, I forgot. I bought a bunch of Nebraska Lottery scratch tickets before we came. Excellent. Hand them down. What a great selection. The Nebraska Lottery launches new scratch games every month. Anybody got a quarter to scratch them with? Anybody? Hey, hand me one of those old hard candies. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Pivot control has never been easier. TNL Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full color, seven inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point Control Panel too. Call your local TNL dealer or visit TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation, like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Dave's is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get-together famous. Award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs. Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, Creamy coleslaw and Dave's cheesy mac and cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit famousdaves.com for all your catering and online ordering needs or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. Back on our football radio show for the week, uh, Jessica Cootie joining me now. Thanks again to Ron Brown and Eric Chenander. This was supposed to be a show with one of the offensive coaches. Obviously, that changed a few weeks ago, so we kind of piecemealed this thing together. It's hard to believe, Jessica, that Friday is it, it. The season is over, and you would think in a lot of ways 
when you're three and eight, you'd want it to be over. But I re- I've enjoyed this team, and I think you've said the same thing. I really have. I, I mean, since I started working with this team, it's just been such a, a joy, a pleasure to work with this team. It's really made me enjoy kind of the grind of football season because it can be a lot. And a lot of times when you get to this point, a lot of people that are around the program are kind of, okay, let's get this thing over with. It, it is such a grind, but this team is so enjoyable. And they, they fought so hard, and you just wish some of those wins would have gone their way. And, you know, I hope that, again, that these seniors like Ben Stilley and some of these guys, we just saw Austin Allen put out his video, some of these guys, that this is going to be their last time taking the field, that they get a, a very special send-off come, out, come on Friday. We mentioned uh, in the last segment with Coach Janander, Ben Stilley, one of those six, six super seniors that de- decided to come back Give it one more go. He'd already graduated, all that. He's your Cornhusker conversation for the week. Yeah, I thought it was fitting, too, hearing Coach Janander talk about uh, how great Ben's been working with the younger guys because I asked him, what mark do you hope that you left? And and you heard it right there. He said, I hope that people know how I really wanted to help bring the younger guys along. And he feels great about where he's leaving this program, even though the wins weren't exactly what he came back for. You know, it feels like that they they set a culture, especially with the black shirts on the D line. He feels good about kind of where he's walking away and and where he's kind of leaving this program moving forward. So here's some of Jessica's Cornhusker conversation for the week with Ben Stilley. Um, just growing up, we didn't come we didn't come to a lot of games. We didn't have season tickets or anything. Um, I remember my first game um, I came to though uh, with my dad. We sat in the north end zone. It was against Nickel State. Um, and so that, that definitely played a, a huge impact on me, just seeing the environment and, and the players and thinking that was really cool. Um, but, I mean, at that time, I didn't even play organized football. So um, at that point in my life, soccer was my, my love, and so I didn't even necessarily think about um, playing college uh, football at the next level. How did you get yourself to that point where you were able to get an offer from Nebraska? Yeah, um, you know, I started playing organized football in middle school. Um, and then uh, kind of dropped soccer once I got to the high school age so I could focus more on football. I'm um, not trying to, didn't have to balance the two of them. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I just kind of fit naturally, I guess, into the um, defensive line position. Um, just kind of grew into my body over my, my four years of high school. Do you remember your very first tunnel walk? <sighs> um, I remember, yeah, for my, I more so remember my first uh, game I played in um, more vividly I guess against Rutgers um, that year I the first four games of the year I traveled I uh, didn't play at all um, and got moved back into a, the outside linebacker position which I hadn't played in I don't know how many months and they kind of just needed me to to step in and fill a role and um, you know just the, the feeling I had that game and the, the anxiety and, and the butterflies and everything uh, was definitely a unique experience. I, I read somewhere where you, we were talking about playing for Coach Tuioti and um, how much that, that's meant to you. Why has he been such a big influence um, on you? Yeah, um, I, I think more than anything, just his his personality, his uh, his character is really uh, unique. I guess his combination of um, who he is as a person, um, who he is as a coach, I think it's really unique in the, in the coaching world. Um, I've had several coaches, obviously, position coordinators, um, and, and he, he's definitely one of a kind. Um, truly cares about his players, um, w- would honestly do anything for us. So, um, yeah, he'll definitely have a, a special place in my heart. A lot is made about what you do on the field, but I think what's been just as important is the things that you've done off the field and using your platform to help a number of different organizations. I mean, you've been up for all kinds of awards and won awards for for your service outside of football. Why was that important for you to get involved with that once you became a Nebraska Husker? Yeah, I think that was part of, uh, you know, obviously a huge part of that is my my parents doing and uh, how they raised me. Um, you know, obviously knowing this is a this is a huge platform in this state, um, in this city. So um, I knew from uh, from the time I got here, it was uh, wasn't endless, and uh, so I just wanted to take advantage of it while I was here. Do you have one specific maybe instance of the volunteer work that's really you'll take with you? I know there's probably several, but one that's really impacted you that you'll think about for the rest of your life. Um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot. I really, really value my uh, teammates' uh, mentoring I do, um, and the, the relationship I've uh, had with, with that young man over the past uh, 
four and a half years here now um, has definitely, definitely, hopefully been a big impact on his life, but also on my life as well. And that will be a, a relationship you will probably continue on forever, right? Or for a while? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, during, uh, I guess, our um, time of mentorship, like in person. Um, actually, today will probably be my last one for, for quite some time um, until we until I'm back in town more uh, consistently. But yeah, definitely something to, you know, be continued on once he's, uh, you know, he's about to enter into graduating high school and uh, moving on to college in a couple of years here. So that'll be something that I can provide, obviously, some, some guidance and leadership there for him. How much have you grown from the, the moment you stepped on campus to the time that, you know, you'll be leaving here, you walk off the field for the final time? How much have you grown as a, as a person, as a man, um, as a football player, all of the above? Yeah, obviously all those areas um, I've grown. Um, I'd add spiritually in there as well, just the, um, you know, the adversity I've gone through here, um, you know, it'd be impossible not to, to have grown. Um, but yeah, just seeing myself as uh, you know, as a freshman, I walked in here, super, super quiet, um, super shy, still introverted, but um, you know, definitely wouldn't even recognize uh, who I am now. What mark do you hope that you left, that you're leaving, and when people think about Ben Stilley and his time here at Nebraska, that they think about? Yeah, um, really, really, just tried to be super, super giving of my time to the to the young guys in the program. Um, that was a huge deal for me when I was young. I had, uh, you know, old senior guys that were helping me out and helping me to become the player I was today. Um, so just really tried to uh, pass that along to those guys as well. And for the fans that will be listening, watching this, what would be your message to them? Um, you know, just really, really appreciate everything they've done for us here. Um, you know, this, Nebraska isn't Nebraska without the fans and the experience they provide. So um, I couldn't be more thankful for, for everything they've done for us here. All right, let's go back to this Saturday because you do have another big one left to play. Uh, Iowa, what's it like playing in this rivalry? Yeah, it's obviously uh, intense for sure. Um, there, there's something a little extra to this game compared to, to the others. So, um, you know, both teams want to win. Um, just even a little bit more just because of the, the rivalry aspect of it. What's the key, especially for the black shirts? I mean, a lot of people talk about Iowa's defense, but you guys have had a pretty solid defense all year as well. But for the black shirts in particular, what's the key for you guys? Yeah, obviously, um, they, they have a really solid run game. Um, and so we're going to be, we're gonna have to shut down the run, um, be strong on third down to, to have some success. And for this program moving forward, how big would this win be? Yeah, I think it plays, it plays a huge psychological uh, role for just the guys in the off season to end on a on a high note and to um, you know build confidence going into the next next season. So again, you can hear that full conversation with Ben Stilley coming up uh, during Husker Game Day. But you know, such a great representative. We've heard it uh, about Ben Stilley this whole time, and um, he is really treasured and loved playing for the Huskers, but. As much as you want to make it about his last time playing on the field, he wants to go win this football game. That's number one most important for Ben Stilley and the rest of these seniors. Hasn't been here to beat Iowa. So yep. you want to leave your career with a victory over a rival. I thought he played really well at Wisconsin last week. I think he'll leave it on the field on Friday. Absolutely. I think him and, and a number of those seniors, look how well Austin Allen has been playing down the stretch. I think a lot of these guys will really put it all out there knowing that, that this is it. And a lot of times you don't get that luxury of knowing, hey, this is my very last time. So uh, for a lot of these guys, they'll know it's it and they'll be able to take advantage of that opportunity, which again was kind of weird last year. They didn't know what the direction was going to be. So they actually can enjoy it and make the most of it this Friday. Time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. That'll put a wrap on Sports Alley tonight. Huskers and Hawkeyes, the Heroes game. Memorial Stadium on Friday, kickoff at 1230. Pre-game coverage begins at 830 on Black Friday. People will be out doing some shopping. Put that radio on, listen to some Husker pregame as we get you ready for the Hawkeyes and the Huskers. That'll put a wrap on this one tonight. Thanks to Coach Brown, Coach Janander, Tim and Eric and Jessica. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups. Firewall, tough defense. And network, way to carry the whole team. 
Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. 